Xbox, play her like game room. Hey, I was tweaking off the perks, mix it with the shrooms. Hey, now I'm itching, seeing shadows in my fucking room. Hey, cute Charlie bitch, that's a fucking What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at a few things coming to FIFA 19 with the first FIFA 19 updates. Let's go for 4,000 likes in this video, that would be amazing, and uh, before we get into it, I just wanted to say that uh, this Saturday, I'm gonna be having a brand new FIFA series on my channel. I'm a bit nervous about it because I've never done something like it before, it's kinda different, it's still like a FIFA series, but it's like with a twist, so yeah, that's gonna be coming up this Saturday, 11am UK time, so make sure you guys be on my channel right there, um, to see the new series because that is gonna be so cool I cannot wait to show you guys what I've been you know uh, making but yeah that is basically all for now let's get into the video and have a look at some awesome new things coming to FIFA 19 very soon. Jesse Lingard is gonna be having a brand new celebration on the game and uh, this is his signature celebration I think it's called like a J Links or something he does this a lot in real life of course and uh, you know he's made this one uh, very popular and it's now uh, in the game which is really cool to see. I love the fact that EA are now adding you know celebrations with updates and uh, that is awesome so hopefully they can you know just keep doing that uh, throughout the year with brand new uh, celebrations uh, but yeah pretty much how to do this is that you have to run up to the camera with Jesse Lingard and that is pretty much about it just run to the camera and it's gonna be doing it I'm not too sure if this is gonna be working with other players and uh, not too sure if that works because obviously you know you have to run to the camera so I'm not too sure if it's like you're randomized with other players uh, but at least that is what you have to do with Jesse Lingard so he now has a brand new celebration a signature celebration on the game and um, so he has like three different celebrations now which is crazy so once again as I said, hopefully they can just keep adding more celebrations. Let me know down below in the comment section which is the most celebration you guys want to see on FIFA 19. Is it the Dele Alli celebration? Is it the Take Tell? Let me know down below. That would be awesome to read your comments. The next thing coming to FIFA 19 is the authentic UEFA Super Cup overlay TV package has been added to the game. So this actually was not in FIFA 19 when the game launched, which was a bit weird, but it's been added right now with the first updates. I think it's going to be coming out, you know, the update in like about a week's time. It's already out on PC, so it should be very soon uh, on the consoles. Uh, but yeah, you're now going to be getting yourself the Super Cup overlay in career mode, in offline, all those kinds of things. And you guys can see the overlays right here, how it's going to be looking in game and everything like that. So it looks uh, really cool and nice to see that we have like an yeah, official, uh, you know, original overlay just for this uh, small competition, which only is just, you know, one game. Uh, but it makes, you know, career mode, it makes everything better uh, because, you know, of course, it's the authentic overlay. So that is really cool, is how it is on TV and stuff. And I'm not too sure if you have to start like a new career mode for this to work. I'm not too sure that's going to be uh, working, but hopefully this can, you know, just automatically be updated uh, for your, uh, you know, career mode that you're doing so I hope that's how it is but yeah there we go you authentic you have uh, overlay uh, for uh, yeah the super cup coming to FIFA 19 uh, with the first FIFA 19 updates. Peter Cech is also now going to be wearing a tie during a uh, contract negotiations or transfer negotiations cutscenes in a uh, career mode. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, this week a tweet went viral uh, from you know different pages and um, saying that pretty much Peter Cech is wearing like his helmets uh, during contract negotiations. Um, so that was you know very funny and even Peter Cech tweeted himself that he usually wears a tie as a bit of a joke you know for the tweets. Um, so pretty much EA thought about this and they actually did indeed update his uh, you know cutscenes in the career mode which is uh, pretty funny to be honest and as you guys can see now he actually wears a tie uh, but they also removed his helmet um, so he's not gonna be having his helmet anymore uh, whenever you have like a cutscenes with Peter Cech in career mode I thought that was really funny and he even tweeted about it himself so yeah that was like a small little, nice little uh, you know detail in the updates and that maybe a few people you know care about but it was pretty much just because of that the tweet went viral it was absolutely everywhere it was on Facebook it was on Twitter uh, it was even on the like, Arc YouTube and stuff so that that was crazy and yeah that has now been fixed uh, with the new FIFA 19 updates. I'm going to be going through a few lists right now about you know new things that they have fixed or added to the game. Um, so the first thing right there is sometimes when a player requests a regular uh, shot they get an inside of the foot shot animation instead. Uh, the inside of the foot animation would usually result in the shot having less power. This was so annoying because he got like an inside shot when he wanted to go for like a power strike uh, outside the box. So this has now been fixed you're not going to be getting those uh, stupid inside the foot uh, uh, foot weak shots anymore that is now fixed for the next updates which is amazing and now they've also made a lot of changes to you know gameplay and stuff right there and um, so they have addressed the following issues wrong portion of the UEFA Champions League anthem was playing during a player lineups at the start of a UEFA Champions League match so that is also fixed the anthem is fixed at the beginning uh, beginning of the games uh, it is now fixed because I think it was playing like way before or like way after it started it was something wrong about it so that is now fixed in the game which is great to see Missing all the four UEFA Champions League matches in some
some stadiums, rung audio playing during the warm-up scenes uh, of the UEFA Champions League match that is also now fixed. Incorrect audio playing at the end of the UEFA Champions League group stage match if you win the second match after losing the first. Then we also have a wrong audio sometimes playing when scoring a volley goal of a cross. Audio saying that the shot was well off target when it didn't miss by much. Like uh, things like that it's good that they are fixing because it's so annoying uh, when the commentators you know say uh, stupid things like that. An issue with the audio that played before a Manchester derby match. A Chinese Super League team names were not being mentioned in intro audio. Missing audio in the journey for Kim Hunter. Uh, I did not experience that yet but maybe sometimes you know, um, you know the audio wasn't there for some people which you know is annoying. Missing audio in the journey uh, for Alex Hunter as well so I guess Alex Hunter also had some problems with uh, that you know and uh, the audio didn't play correctly or you know it was just missing you know for the cutscenes and everything and then we also have a wrong audio uh, in the journey for Danny Williams during the preseason tournament and um, so there's a lot of fixes right here for like the journey uh, especially you no know, audio things that is uh, basically what they have done right here and then we also have a player to watch audio sometimes not uh, playing despite the overlay showing I actually have indeed experienced this one myself uh, for kickoff games you know before the game begins they always do like a, a player to watch and sometimes, you know, uh, you know, there will be like audio in the background, you know, the commentator saying something about the player. But uh, yeah, as you guys can see, that has not been fixed, which is great. And then we also have audio incorrectly playing in an 11 v 11 training match, and a penalty is given. Uh, given. So that is a lot of audio fixes right there, uh, which is great to see. Especially, you know, the fact that they have fixed the Champions League anthem before the games. I think that is a very nice update. We have some more things here from the journey, which they have indeed addressed and fixed. Um, so customization of Alex Hunter was incorrectly displaying uh, for some users so now you're able to uh, fully customize Alex Hunter if that was a problem for you uh, in the journey. Then we also have updated the mentor selection screen um, so that is also very uh, useful. The mentor rating was not uh, present in the training flow um, so that is also now uh, updated the uh, rating for the mentors in the journey. Uh, play the game was incorrectly triggered during the opening of the journey. I'm not sure if that was um, you know if the text came out you know later or before I'm not too sure if the text was wrong uh, but I suppose yeah play the game uh, was incorrectly triggered not too sure what it means but yeah I think it's like the opening cutscene of the journey at the beginning um, so yeah maybe that you know has not been fixed I'm not too sure what's going on but uh, yeah that sounds interesting and then we have the ball went missing from Jim Hunter's hands if you scored a hat trick during the opening of the journey and yeah that was a big glitch and um, so that has now also been fixed that was a pretty funny one though he was not holding anything if he scored a hat trick in his opening match that is pretty funny and that has not been fixed of course stability issue during the post-match highlights following a match with Kim Hunter in chapter 2 stability issue when switching to Kim Hunter at the start of chapter 4 stability issue after uh, completing a training drill with the uh, Kim Hunter uh, purchasing the weak foot trade for Kim Hunter was defaulting uh, her weak foot rating to three stars like there's a lot of uh, big uh, you know uh, fixes right here which is great to see uh, for the journey uh, getting a red card in Danny Willems first match was still allowing him um, to be a sub in the second that is also good at the fix because that is obviously realistic and uh, not realistic I mean he would have like a three match ban for getting a red card so uh, pretty cool that they have not fixed that as well if Danny Williams gets a two yellow cards in his first match he was banned for more than one game one of Danny Williams teammates was missing his body during a cutscene that one right there is just so funny like he was just casually missing his body in the cutscene that is just nice to see so and uh, that has also now been fixed and then we also have uh, the matches played stats for Alexander and Danny Williams was uh, sometimes inaccurate and uh, sometimes Danny will be put into the starting lineup even when he had a late sub rating and the last one right here the rival icon is missing uh, in a match where Alexander is playing uh, Danny Williams so yeah that is pretty much the fix right there for the journey let's have a look some more fixes uh, for the audio they have now made the following changes added audio banter regarding the previous FIFA World Cup added audio banter for a number of teams added audio banter for a number of stadiums added audio banter for a number of team matchups adjusted the sound effects that play during negotiation scenes in career mode and uh, they also tune the audio that plays after a goal um, to provide more unique uh, audio and they also tuned uh, the audio that plays during food pack opening animations and um, so hopefully you know that can be a bit different uh, than what it was before or maybe they made the sound higher lower I'm not too sure but uh, yeah hopefully it is a bit lower because sometimes 
the pack openings literally give you a headache it is a bit uh, crazy but yeah that is basically all of the changes for now uh, you guys can read all of the changes if you want to down below in the description uh, the ones that I haven't shown you guys in this video are like a few uh, ones that are not too important but still there's like a few uh, bug fi fixes and stuff so if you guys want to read all about that there's going to be a link down below to the full uh, website and you guys can just uh, go through everything but yeah the, the, you know I think there's a lot of cool updates right here uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the gameplay is going to be of course after the first update because last year uh, they changed so much uh, with the first patch so that is really you know interesting and it's going to be coming I think within one week maybe this weekend maybe next week at some point so it shouldn't be too long until we get all of these uh, fixes but yeah that is all for now thank you guys so much for watching I'm sorry that my voice was really bad in this video because I've been uh, sick right now so that is not the best but uh, hopefully it still you know was okay and uh, you guys enjoyed the video so that is all for now thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video peace out wake up and pray every morning all of the hate I ignore it nothing they say is important nothing they say is important I wish I could stay in the morning but I got a plane in the morning I'm trying to be rich and important I'm trying to be rich and important I'm trying to be rich and important